have been a productive little Saturday. I got up, I did my check-in pictures, I did my check-in with my coach, which I'll provide a little update about that in a little bit. Uh, then I did my fasted cardio, I made my bomb-ass breakfast. I've been eating the same breakfast for like years and I'm not sick of it yet. I still am like so grateful every single morning for that breakfast. So I did that and then I went to yoga deep stretch class, which was amazing. That class is normally my favorite class. The one on Saturday. I love the instructor, but first of all, the instructor was like 15 minutes late. She forgot that she was teaching that class. And then she had us doing some kind of like weird partnership like everybody was so confused like we didn't sign up for tantric yoga this is supposed to be deep stretch I don't know it was weird but normally I freaking love that class but it was still good like I'm glad to have gone especially I haven't been able to go to yoga the last couple weeks because I've been traveling and I can tell a huge difference whenever I go um, so I'm gonna try to go like several times this weekend and the beginning of next week uh, and then what else right now I'm getting an oil change um, and yeah, I'm going to kind of let myself like chill out today because I have been exhausted from the last couple weeks of traveling and I slept really good Thursday night and Friday night being able to sleep in my own bed last night. Um, and I don't know, I just can tell that like I need rest. I need to like give my body some time to just chill out and recover. So yeah, just going to chill for most of the day so that I can have an amazing leg day later. I'm so excited to be back at my gym. Um, especially cause like last Wednesday when I was trying to work out at Planet Fitness and I, normally I love Planet Fitness. I'm not talking shit about Planet Fitness. There's nothing wrong with Planet Fitness. They're always clean. They have everything that you need, but I don't know if it's cause it's January or what, but they have been insanely busy the last couple of weeks whenever I've gone while I've been traveling. And I don't know, I just felt like I haven't been getting as good of a workout in. So I'm excited to be back at my home gym. I'll take you to my new gym, Core 24, uh, and hit a leg day today. And then I get a burger. So far on this prep, every Saturday I've gotten a little um, refeed and I always pick a burger and fries. So that's what I always look forward to like all week long. Like Saturdays are my favorite day to have a great leg day and to get my burger. And then I always do an Epsom salt bubble bath. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Okay, I've basically just been rotting on the couch since I saw you last. Chilling, eating, taking naps, catching up on trash reality TV shows. My hair is like such a mess. Um, wow, that's even better. Anyways, my check-in this morning with my coach. So today is 10 weeks out. I did my check-in. I want to say I was like 148.2 this morning. I can't remember. It was in the video, whatever it was. Uh, so yeah, 10 weeks out. My coach is happy with my check-in. I'm happy with my check-in. So far, this prep has been pretty great. Like, I don't think I'll ever get to a point where I'm miserable necessarily. My food is still pretty high. I'm still eating like five meals a day, over 2,000 calories a day. Um, my cardio is little, like minimal. I don't want to say minimal, but it's not a lot. Like, it's only 30 minutes, six times a week of fasted cardio, and it's an incline walk on the treadmill. So that's not bad at all. My plan has only changed once so far since I started this prep. So I was doing five days of cardio for 30 minutes. And then he upped it to six days at 45 minutes. Oh, I just gave like a thumbs up because I'm recording on my phone. Um, he upped it to six times a week for 45 minutes. And then that week I lost like seven pounds. Um, <laughs> so it, my body was just reacting super quick. So... He pulled it back. Now I'm just doing 30 minutes six times a week. And then my meal plan has only changed once. He cut my carbs a little bit. Other than that, like, good. I'm feeling awesome. I still need to work on bringing up my glutes, especially my upper glutes and then my shoulders. He did say that he could see progress in my shoulders this week. So that's good, but we do still need more. So um, at least I'm like heading in the right direction. So I feel good overall way better than I did like the first prep that I did I don't know just like way more everything feels like aligned and yeah I'm feeling good <laughs> since I've been chilling all day I know I feel very well rested and I'm getting ready to eat another meal and then head to the gym for leg day another glute focused workout so let's go I'll go show you my new gym core 24.
Such a good workout. It felt so good being back at my gym. I actually had a really, really good leg workout. Now I'm just chilling again. I came home, had my post-workout meal. I took an Epsom salt bubble bath. That's like my Saturday routine. Leg day, food, Epsom salt bubble bath, um, and then I eat my burger. So I'm just chilling now. I'm about to go to Shake Shack and get this burger. I've been looking forward to this all week. But yeah, um, I've been trying to do an Epsom salt bath at least twice a week on my leg days. They're really good for reducing inflammation, muscle stiffness, and pain. And they're also just super, super relaxing. Like I try to soak in there for like 30 minutes. And sometimes I play on my phone or like listen to music or podcasts or whatever, but really just chill. Um, and it makes me so sleepy. I get the best sleep on Saturday nights, especially because Sunday is the one day of the week where I like really don't have to set an alarm for the most part. For the most part, I don't have to like set an alarm most days, but, um, but especially on Sundays, like that's my day to like truly sleep in. So I'll sleep really good tonight. So yeah, I'm about to go get a burger. I'll show you my burger. I'm going to eat that and watch something in bed till I crash. And then tomorrow's gonna be like a recovery pampering kind of day. So I'm actually really excited about that. This weekend is turning out to be a pretty chill, relaxing, pampering weekend, which is very much needed. Tomorrow we'll do nails, lashes, massage. Yeah, so I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Sunday. I feel extremely well rested. I slept so good last night. I didn't have to set an alarm today. 
It was so nice. I'm getting my day started with some coffee. I love Sunday mornings because I don't have to do cardio and I love a slow morning. Like when I can just take my time getting up, have coffee, read if I want to, journal, whatever. Just like a slow start to the day. I love that. Sundays are like my favorite mornings. My breakfast, all of it. So I'm kind of just getting ready right now to go run some errands. And by run errands, I mean have people take care of me. I'm going to get my nails fixed. I'm gonna go get my lashes filled in. Um, I have a massage scheduled. Not like a body work massage, which I really need. I need like deep, deep tissue body work. But this is just like a relaxing massage which is also much needed, especially after this past week. I've had the best weekend, like after the past couple of weeks and all the craziness and like, I do feel like I handled the stress pretty well, but I could tell whenever I got back home, like the end of the week, my body was so drained. My mind was so drained and I really just needed this weekend to recharge. So that's what this has been about. Like, and recharge, recovery, rest, all of that is also important for prep. So like, yeah, it's important to work hard and all of that, but like, you also have to prioritize rest. I'm realizing how important it is to get good sleep and to be in, have a good sleep patterns and like really just taking care of myself and prioritizing recovery and stuff like that. So, Today is just going to be all about me. <laughs> um, what else am I going to do? I'm probably going to go to yoga later and just get set up for the week. I have like a pretty busy work week ahead. So I also use Sundays to kind of plan out my week. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll take you along for a little bit with me. And then that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. Like I don't have a lot of upde <laughs> updates. I don't have a lot of updates for 10 weeks out because really not much has changed. Like I'm still pretty much eating the same. My cardio is the same. I'm training the same, like just kind of coasting until it's time. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure things will change as we get closer to the show, but, um, as of right now, like nothing changed. <laughs> so this week going into this week is the same as it has been for, I don't know, the past couple of weeks and definitely in all these videos since I've started filming them, everything's been the same. So I'm doing my in-body scan next weekend, so I'll share those results. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, so yeah, that'll probably be in the next video, but as for now, I have nothing else to say prep-wise. So yeah, I'll take you along with me to like do a couple of errands and then I will see you next week.